Hello everybody. Today our collage app will acquire the ability to add videos. We will be able to add videos from the user's library or enable the user to record the video themselves. We will display these videos in the same grid that we were displaying the images and we will also add the ability to play them from the grid or to go to the detail of the video and use the default video player. First, we need to adapt our canvas view since now we're not just going to be displaying photos in the grid, but also videos. For that, we'll create an enum media item where we can display either a photo that has an a UI image or a video that has a URL. For this, we also have to change the view model. So now the array of images that we're passing from the view model is going to be an array of items that has canvas view that media item. We are also going to do another change here. Instead of asking if the item, item provider can load an image, we're going to ask the item provider if it has an item conforming to the type on the identifier, and we will use the ut type that image that identifier. And now since the object that the view model is giving us the type of the array has changed, we need to uh, change our canvas view. So if it is of case that photo, we will present the image as we have been doing up until now. If it's a video, well, that implementation comes later. Now let's check that the previous implementation is still working. So let's see if we can uh, load photos. Select several images, tap add, and the images are loaded, so perfect. Okay, so moving on to the video. And this means that in the item provider, the item that it has associated will have a different type identifier. For that, we will check with uttype.movie.identifier. Now the difference here is that we're going to use a different method from item provider, which is going to be load item for identifier. The difference with this method is that we won't get the data of the video itself, but rather a URL of where the data is located. Now that the view model is giving us the URL, how do we display the video? Well, we'll use another class provided by Apple, which is the AV player view controller. To this controller, you give a URL and that controller handles the entire playback of the video. As mentioned, the only thing we need is a URL. 
So we create an AV player. We initialize it with the URL. We assign this player to the AV player view controller. And now we have a view where we can present our videos with the URL. Now let's run and select the video from the video library. And oh, we're just showing photos. I think I think I know what's happening. I think I don't, have not selected video from the PHP view controller. And yes, as a matter of fact, I haven't. So here in filter, we will select any of images and videos. And now our closure is very different. We cannot filter the results. Since we're passing all of the results, we cannot filter just by images. And then the view model will separate them and handle them accordingly. Let's run again. Let's select images first. There we have our video, by the way, in the library. Okay, so images, okay. Now let's select the video. Okay, we get the URL. We have the player displaying, but something's off. It should have an image, a preview. And when I open here, nothing shows. Something clearly is wrong here. Okay, so after some debugging, I found out that yes, we're getting a video URL from the item provider, but the URL is referencing data that will soon disappear. So what we need to do is copy these uh, contents of the of what's in that path to the temporary folder where it will remain for a longer time and we can actually use that URL to display a video. So first, let's create a variable for the temp directory. For that, we'll use the file manager default and it has a temporary directory URL. Next, with the temporary directory URL, we need to copy the item at the video URL that we get from the item provider and we copy that to the temporary directory. So for that we need to create another URL in the temporary directory which will contain the name of the file. Not to avoid having duplication issues where we cannot hard code the, um, the video since each time we're uh, saving a file we could have the the same name and we wouldn't be able to copy it. So for that, I'm gonna use the time interval of the current date. That way I will never have the same name for a file. Okay, let's run again. Let's see. You can still select images. Nothing has changed there. Show the video, and there we have a preview. Now let's stop on play. I removed the play, the uh, play from the UI view representable. I'm no longer playing when we present it. Instead, we allow the user to tap this. Uh, the second video didn't get posted. It says because the file already exists. When, and the name says 0, zero mod. Oh, I'm using the wrong method from date. Let's try once more. So now we select one video, it appears. Select another video there. And we have now two players. Let's also select images and video. Good. We already have the three videos there. I can play them at the same time. I can even access the player there because this is an AV uh, player view controller. We have um, for free this detail view where we can enlarge it and it takes full screen and we can 
access the playback controls for this video. On to the next part. Now that we allow the user to select a video from the library, we will enable the user to record a video. And that one will be using UI uh, image picker controller. We will need to have a different button for this. Now we'll have three buttons, one to take pictures, one to record videos, and one to select assets from the library. We also need to prepare the view model to handle the video URL. This won't be from a PH picker result, so it will be just handling the URL. But what they do have in common is that we will copy the video URL to a URL in the temporary directory. So we're going to extract the method we were using before to a separate function that both can reuse. Now with the view model ready, we need to change our camera picker view implementation. It needs to change because it needs to either prepare to take pictures or to record videos. It won't do both at the same time. So we need to change these closures since not all, uh, all of the time we're going to pass back a your image. It can be the URL of a video. So for that, we'll create a separate enum output and each of the cases will come accompanied with a closure that expects different parameters. This won't change the implementation of, of our UI image picker view controller for now, but it, it will change how we are handling uh, the results in the delegate. So depending on the case of the on output, we will either process the image with a closure that expects a UI image or the video with a closure that expects a URL. For the video part, it's not that different than PH Picker View Controller. The video result comes in the form of a URL as well. You get it from the provided dictionary using the dot media URL key.
Since we change the initializing parameters of our camera picker view, now we need to fix the implementation on canvas view. Although we don't have build errors, we are still missing setting the UI image picker controller to record instead of taking pictures. And for that, we need to change the uh, capture mode. But first, we need to configure more uh, values in our info playlist. So we need one for the microphone usage description. I provided the same uh, string. You need one for the photo library and for the camera usage description. You need these three keys so the application can ask the user for permission. So now when the output is of type picture, actually when it's of type video, we change the capture mode to video and the media type to public.movie. That's a string by the way. Okay, let's try our implementation. So first, let's try taking pictures. Okay, we haven't changed anything here. Uh, we can take pictures and they are displayed. Now let's try recording a video. Oh, we have an exception. The source type. All oh, right, the order mar matters in which you declare these attributes. I'm declaring the source type after the media types and the capture mode. Let's move these um, above and run again. Again, nothing has changed for taking pictures. Now let's try recording. Okay, we do get the interface here. Let's record a small video. And well, again, we get this interface for free. And let's use the video. Okay, and now it works. Let's also try the library with videos and images. Okay, perfect. Everything works. And that was all. Again, PH Picker View Controller and UM Image Picker Controller do a lot of the heavy lifting for us. You just need to uh, know how to handle the video URL that you get back from both implementations. Uh, apologies, I realized that there was a Swift UI view for the AV player view controller, but I just didn't want to change what I had already recorded and it still works perfectly. There's nothing wrong with embedding the UI view controller. That was all. Hope you liked it. Bye.